you know, it's just so many, you know, just just grade A actors. So to have them all sit down and do a season, I felt like was impressive. Um, you, yeah, you could say I'm reaching, but damn it, I'm gonna say it. I feel like it's similar if you were to put like the cast of the Avengers and be like, yeah, I know we make all these great movies, but you know what? Let's do a season. Can we all sit down and do like an eight to 10 episode season and just see where things go? Hey, what's going on, folks? Another episode of Ryan Reviews Everything, formerly known as Just My Opinion with Ryan. And hopefully you all had a, a loving, productive, great, happy holidays and so forth. But uh, if you did have some downtime and uh, maybe you're just not hip to it, uh, one of the most uh, easily bingeable shows uh, over the holiday break uh, has to be uh, The Best Man, The Final Chapters, uh, directed by Malcolm D. Lee. If you're familiar with movies like Best Man Holiday, The Best Man, Welcome Home Roscoe Jenkins, The Barbershop, and even um, Girls Trip is another one, then you've seen Malcolm D. Lee's work. Um, brilliant director, very long and impressive resume, and I thought this was such a brilliant move to, to actually do the final chapters as a, a, a season instead of like one final movie, because I really felt like breaking it down into a season really gave plenty of room for these characters to just you know just see them grow and and um progress rather sorry i have my tv on as you can see um but i felt like i really felt like this was um just a brilliant way to have uh these characters just show the growth and progression of these characters i thought that was brilliant um and and i feel like you know when you when you look back at it to see these well-known actors you know do these movies you know um but to have them you know all get on the same accord and actually do a season an eight episode season i feel like is um incredibly impressive as well i mean we look at the names you know nia long morris chestnut um tay diggs regina hall um sanai lathan you know, it's just so many, you know, just just grade A actors. So to have them all sit down and do a season, I felt like was impressive. Um, you, Yeah, you could say I'm reaching, but damn it, I'm going to say it. I feel like it's similar if you were to put like the cast of the Avengers and be like, yeah, I know we make all these great movies, but you know what? Let's do a season. Can we all sit down and do like an eight to 10 episode season and just see where things go? And the final thing I want to say um, before I get into a little bit more of the detail of, of this uh, final chapter season, uh, I don't want to have people be like, oh man, that was a great, that was great for um, a black show or, or a black season. Yes, it's an all black cast, majority black cast, however you want to say it. But um, I don't want to put this, you know, this in a box of just the black show i really feel like um anybody could watch this show and relate to it it just so happened to be an all-black cast but you it's not like a show you have to be black to understand it or to like it um i really feel like this is malcolm d lee's version of let's say uh, a million little things for example um you know you just really see these people and just go through their ups and downs and different types of hurdles and challenges throughout their life, you know. Um, once again, and this will be spoiler alerts from this point out. So, for example, um, Lance. We definitely see how Lance is handling things after the death of, of his wife, Mia. You know, we're trying to see how he's coping, you know, after some time has passed uh, of his wife, who you know, who died of cancer. Um, you know, so how is he coping with that you know is it is he okay is he does he have like a vice or a crutch and once again spoiler alert um we definitely see that in order to kind of he's not fully over the loss of his wife and in order for him to do that he like distracts himself with like just random casual sex with attractive women like that's his vice in order to kind of block out that that you know that hole in his heart you know of his wife who, who died um you know we definitely see people like merch you know um 
progress and actually um i don't want to say like get a backbone because it's not like he was a punk you know throughout this whole series but we definitely try we, we, you see merch progress and like actually find like an outlet you know from just being this typical nice guy he has like this outlet now um to to let out his anger he's he's more outspoken if something bothers him um and of course you know people like regina hall you see how she progressed a long way from when we first saw her in the in the original best man when she was a stripper you know she's her and merch for example are like just you know highly decorated professors now you know and Candace is Regina Hall's character. She's going for her PhD and, you know, just different stuff like that. But just all these different avenues of, of just seeing like this growth was just beautiful to see. Um, and I think another brilliant thing about it, which you could look at all his movies and you could sell that, you know, he does a great, Malcolm D. Lee is who I'm referring to. He does a great job of hopping from serious to comedy moments to romantic moments um and and just repeating that cycle he does a great job of that um you know and i, I really enjoyed that like there's some characters that you really just grow attached to or um i feel like again you could look at a character and be like you know what i can relate so much to this person's story um and yeah i'll say even for me um i feel like Murch's character for example jumps out to me the most i really enjoyed his character um and just seeing the chemistry and I, I know i'm rambling at this point but just seeing the chemistry with all these you know successful actors in their own right is just brilliant um i really felt like when it comes to like the comedy timing and the you know just the comedic pieces of it i feel like top three for me had to be merch uh candace and of course uh quentin and shelby's relationship um throughout the entire series is just comedy um, waiting to happen every t at every turn. But at that same regard, everyone in this uh, season definitely, you know, performs their acting chops and you do see some serious, intense moments from everybody, not just um, characters for like, you know, your, your Tay Diggs and your Sanai Lathans and, and things like, and Nia Long. No, everyone goes through some like serious drama in here um and it's just beautiful to see man uh it's available on peacock tv you can literally watch the entire season over the weekend all eight episodes are available now it's not like they're dropping them week by week um and it's just beautiful to see that, that that's really all i could say i'm trying my best not to go into step-by-step -step detail about it but just seeing the growth and how the uh you know chapters end um <clears throat> for these characters is great and another thing I did enjoy about this season is, you know, it really just highlights how marriage can either bring couples closer or unfortunately just show them growing, you know, further apart. Um, we definitely see that in some of the couples of, you know, this um, cast here. And although this is the final chapters, meaning, you know, I don't see how they would continue. Um, they definitely still left certain things kind of up in the air, like. Um, this, you know, coulda, woulda, shoulda relationship, situationship thing, whatever you want to call it, uh, between, um, Harper and, and Jordan, for example, it's like, you know, once again, I might be even telling too much, even with that, but you know, um, that was just, that relationship is literally just left up in the air, you know, uh, in terms of like, okay, are they going to get together or not? Um. And I'm going to leave it at that, man. Um, if you've seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about, obviously. Um, but yeah, man, beautiful series overall. You really, you know, leave the show being like, okay, I loved how this particular story ends. It's almost like, you know what? Uh, although this is the situation this person is, is in by the time the finale is here, it definitely shows you how life continues to go on, you know, and... Um, I say just all around beautiful, man. Um, if you, once again, if, if you're under a rock or anything like that, um, definitely, you know, get to it and check out uh, the Best Man Final Chapters. Beautiful stuff. Malcolm D. Lee did um, amazing work yet again. And uh, huge, huge kudos to all of the actors in this show.